Hello everybody and welcome back to the Generation Jumbo! I'm your host Crownback and for once I have a co-host. We have the Generation Jumbo Council member Zach and Theus. Yeah, so th this is going to be an interesting match having all three council members. Granted, Cyber's having the fight, but yeah, it, he's going to be interesting. Yeah, he's here in spirit and also he'll probably show up at the end. But we're in the first match for semifinals. We have Cyber DJ versus Roscado. And I think it's time to tell them that they're good to go. They're not good to be good to go. I can't type. <laughs> okay. Alright, there we go. So, Cyber. Or not Cyber. Zach, sorry. What are your thoughts and expectations for this match? <sighs> uh, this is... Definitely going to be an interesting match, especially as Jinx has been paralyzed turn <laughs> one. Um, this is a pretty even match, I would say. Between watching both of these two go in their matches, I can't pick someone that's going to stomp the other. Yeah, me neither. But Cyber getting a special drop and missing a lovely kiss, that's definitely not helping, but that special drop makes it a little bit better. And... Jinx is staying in. This this Jinx is not going anywhere by the looks of it. Mm hmm. Mm. I've mm. already seen some interesting Jinx sets. I know Zash tried using Counter Jinx, and I know someone, I forget who their name was, but they tried using Seismic Toss. But I'm pretty sure Rest is by far the best thing you could be using on it. What, what do you oh, know? There we go. Speaking of. <laughs> yeah. Speak of the devil, and he shall sweep in your bed. Uh, oh, this is interesting. If this is going to be like Rock Slide or a Sword Stance now coming from this. Yep. Yeah. Nice, nice Rock Slide. Cupcake, we got a sweet little puppy name. That's mm -hmm. almost mandatory. Yeah. I, oh, I totally forgot that I agreed that we were going to rank some of the nicknames by the time the first tournament's over. Not going to lie. It's alright. Right. I will do my best to keep an eye on them in this one. <laughs> yeah, okay, so... um. Cupcake, a B plus nickname at worst. Yeah, absolutely solid. I would even give it an A tier. Yeah, I probably would too. So We've this got... Iron Hands has Body Slam. I don't know about you, but I don't really like it on Iron Hands. It, it's the most reliable way for, for Iron Hands to spread paralysis because it doesn't get Thunder Wave for some reason. Mm. And it's, it's putting in the work, being able to paralyze Zamazenta Oh, that, that's a crit. And that's a crit. Being able to paralyze Zamazenta is a good way to absolute... Bad analogy, to put the dog down. <laughs> it, uh, because it, it relies on that 138 speed a lot, just to, to slash everything. So, being paralyzed, you're psychic bait at that point. Yeah. And interesting that it's they're using low kick and body slam and rock slide. All three are relatively low power moves. At least compared to using Earthquake or Hyper Beam. Yeah, I think going for the coverage on Iron Hands is is probably a good idea. You're the you're the highest attack stat in in the format, right? It's like 154. Yeah, or, I think or like 140. Yeah, Haxorus probably outdoes it, but I don't think it matters. Oh yes, no, Haxorus is 147. I think yeah. Uh, Ooh, having such a high that. attack. Yeah, that's Ooh. relevant. Yeah, that is. That's scary for this Iron Hands now, because... Mm -hmm. Did Stami wake up? No, so that's... Something's taking a Psychic, I think. Stami's that... Oh, they stayed in. Or, I guess he already killed Zamazenta. Oh, that is... That, that is a play. We're gonna get the burn. Yes. Oh, God. Okay, that's relevant. Now, that... If it comes down to a Chansey versus Chansey, it could be interesting because I... that six percent chip when you're when it's a Chansey v Chansey, six percent chip forces you to heal more. Mhm. Mm I still Ooh. don't get why people run Poison Jab over Hyper Beam though. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I think it's because it's hard to find. Well, especially when you come in early, it's hard to find those opportunities to use Hyper Beam with Naganadel. 
it's normally just a lot safer to go for poison jab, but no, mm. I do agree. When you're in the late game, I think hyper beam is just a better option. They stayed in with Starmie though. I don't know what's more interesting, them staying in with Starmie or Zack not using the opportunity to just build up full special. Or not Zack, uh, Cyber. I mean, perhaps he just thought he didn't need it, but I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> I, I think he might. Because this Taurus... I don't playing know... risky now because you're in Hyper Beam crit range. <laughs> yeah, uh, they went for Hyper Beam. Oh, they went for Rest. Actually, does that even matter when you're against a Tauros? I don't think so, because these two body slams, once again, they put you into hyper beam crit range. You're going to get one attack here, and then you can attack again afterwards. Okay, you sacrifice your small axe. You better have something faster. Oh! You know what? I'm not even surprised. I should have seen that coming. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm... Um... Oh, that actually does pretty decent chip. I'm I'm surprised it did that much damage to, uh, yeah. to Chansey. Okay, so we don't have to worry about a Chansey mirror. Mm. If if this doesn't get the uh, the fire blast burn, this is going to be a problem. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Well, when, when did it start I... going wrong for Roscado? Oh, I, I mean, staying in with Starmy was definitely one of them because it's just another option to take out this ape and you wouldn't have had to lose your Tauros or Naganadal. Yeah. Now you've got nothing for Executor or Jinx. Or Chansey. Uh, or Chansey. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's not even a like paralyzed Chansey. It's burned. Chansey's yeah. always going to be faster. Well, yeah, and I was going to say, going into Snorlax here would have been best at, better because it's just going to make things go quicker. Yeah, that shows up to a KO. <laughs> Yeah, Body Slam will get the kill. That was good. That was good match. Yeah, good match. Now, hopefully, Roscado, like, sees, uh, you know, like, adapts good for round two. Yeah, the... the Amazenta didn't do much in that. It used two slashes, and, <laughs> and then it died. So, hopefully, Zamazenta can do a bit more. Yeah. We'll see if they use the same Pokemon at all. Because I think a lot of people, myself included, prefer to like always change your teams. I, I've... Because I've been using my, uh, my Gyat. <clears throat> because I found some pretty good... I found some good consistency with it. I prefer to be consistent with a single team. But no, the format just started working in, in different ways and... Did not go well. It's starting to fall off a little bit now. Yeah. So I've got a I've got a few different teams. That's good. I, I got some too. I honestly the team I used against Shelly just felt really good. Which is weird because it's just Gen 1 Pokemon. But we'll have to see what Cyber and Roscado have to have in store for us. I'm excited. Yeah, definitely. It it's because I've spoken to you about this before, and maybe with Cyber as well, but I don't think you've spoken about it on, on like a council video or anything. Team building in this in this season is so hard. Mm -hmm. It it's not like the first season where we had a select few of random types. There were objectively better Pokemon than the others. Everything is such a mishmash of power levels at the moment. It's hard to find a stable team that actually works. Because there's always going to be something that gets in your way. So, to be making a tier list for this season is going to be so much harder. Yeah, and like, you would think at first with Zam just having a troll of everything, that would have... That, that would have made it easier having one Pokemon, but no, like... Even though Zam is the best Pokemon, it's not a requirement. There's a lot of teams that don't use it at all, and they're great. Yeah, it's definitely... I think other than Chansey, probably the most common Pokemon that's that's being used. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Chansey and Iron Hands. Got... Oh, yeah, yeah, and Iron Hands. Uh, Gudra has fallen off. Um, the live battle is up. Okay, finally. I've been like going back and forth between like looking, like NRGC and the white <laughs> battle. Alright, 
round two. Let's do this. Okay, it's loading. Here what we go. It? We yep. Gengar versus <laughs> versus we Jinx. This is already starting off the battle. Like, the battle hasn't even started yet, and I'm already feeling anxious. Yeah, it, who? It, someone's gonna put someone to sleep this turn, I think. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or Orbiscado can do the correct play and just skip the Metal Man and go straight for Explosion. But will that be what happens, though, is the question. I don't think um, anyone in this tournament would be base enough to do that. Especially not when... Oh, never mind. Uh... <laughs> great, great. Uh, that was the most Gen 1 turn that I have ever seen. Oh, man. No, no! Oh, oh. wait. <laughs> but it didn't explode. I'm not sure about this. Oh, God. They went back I, in the jinx. Oh. Do you preserve your Gengar, or do you go boom? Oh, wait, that that's actually the best choice, actually. Because we, we we were talking about this with uh, with Cyber beforehand. Like, predicting what people are going to do is so weird, because a lot of people haven't got the, the format experience, or, or like, uh, what do you call it? Not necessarily the gimmick experience, but like... Ah, the know-how of all the moves, like... Yeah. Explosion would just be better, you know. Blowing up here would probably just be better. Cyber expected it to happen, and it just didn't. So he almost took a hypnosis to the face. Okay, like... I, okay, I'm now reading for Briscato solely because of their nicknames. Fruity Pebbles, yeah. uh, Cookie Crisp, Boo Booberry. These are just all Booberry. cereal references, and cereal is one of my we favorite foods. We have cereals. Yeah, yeah, okay. You gotta love to see it. Uh, okay, both hit pretty hard, but it's going to be a trade-off either way, because yeah, Scar King is killed, but now Fruity Pebbles can be just revenge code by anything, really. Yeah, Amaldo's not going to do anything else for the rest of this match, like, I don't even think it's safe to take Exeggutor's explosion at this point. Mm-hmm. I like how it's Snorax. It was originally called Groundback IRL, but now it's changed to me IRL. Yeah, which is funny. Uh, as a British man, I do appreciate the self-deprecating humor. <laughs> so that's a pretty good one. Um, I'm not sure if setting up amnesia there was was maybe the best idea. I, I mean, it depend. It depends on the rest of the team. But... Yeah. Going into Starmie there makes me think that they really don't have much of a better option against Snorlax. Mm hmm Yeah, I, 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 I can respect the play. Because I, I don't think you were scared of Armado having Hyper Beam. So it would hit decently hard, but I don't think you were scared of it hitting, you know, being like too much damage for you to handle. So might as well use Opportunity because you might not get another Opportunity to set up with Amnesia. Yeah, that's true. I, I can see that. I was thinking of it in the way of do you really want to take 40% chip damage just to just to take out this Armaldo when you could have done that later in the match? But... Yeah, I get that too. And it could have worked out, but again, he didn't know Roscato's team, so in came the Iron Hands, just completely invalidating you. That's that's pretty big. I, I'm surprised staying in with Iron Hands versus Ex Exeggutor. This yeah, is probably I, the one Pokemon doesn't that it doesn't want to face. Yeah, I probably would have sacked off the Gengar, to be honest. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm, definitely. Yeah, Gen yeah, Gengar is already at, like, half HP. Maybe a critical poison jab could be good, but most likely you won't have... Or, here he is, just proving me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is a free poison jab, which is which is pretty solid. Or Thunderbolt. Oh, that works, too. Okay, they go into Chansey. You go for another Thunderbolt. You go for... Ex oh, uh, God. That's why I think Poison Jab might have been better, because Chansey would have taken more chip. That could have killed. So what does the Starmie know? It knows Thunder Wave, Recover... Probably um, Ice Beam... And then it's a toss-up between probably Surf or Psychic. Uh, okay, psychic, so... Okay, no are. special drop. So a critical blizzard will not be enough to kill. 
Mm. Okay, still I don't know. Yeah, I can see it now. I can see Starmie being Briscado's main win con. Yeah, Iron Hands is asleep, which... <sighs> Looking at Cyber's team, you're not going to get the opportunity to really do much. Unless you wake up really early. Holy oh, shit. That's huge. That's huge. That might have saved him the game. Yeah. that That's a dead Snorlax at this point, because... I, I imagine he hasn't got Fire Blast on anything. Funny enough... I actually probably would have told or would have stayed in. Because with Amnesia, that Snorlax could have blocked Starmie's power points. Because you only have yeah, five wizards. No. Or no, he would have went for a psychic. But even then, how many psychics would it have taken to beat a Snorlax with two special boosts? Yeah, because, I mean, at that point, you're draining the people. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, Cyber's playing aggressively. I don't know if he thinks the game's in the back or if he's getting more desperate. I mean, I'm looking at a. It's basically Jinx and Zamazenta versus whatever three Pokemon he's got now, so. Okay, he has a white. Oh, God. Yeah, that's a problem. You're running out of turns. That... They went for Thunder yep. Wave. They're faster than you. And I think that's just basically solidified this because. Yeah, it looks like Riscotto this... won, won game two. Yep. And. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. You what's go... the What's the last Pokemon though? I, hmm. I I can respect trying to get some like burning always one sweep turn in. But now hmm. I think if return you're if you're Roscado you are terrified of a Blizzard Freeze. Because. This is every turn now. <laughs> it's oh, like... I hate this so much. I don't. I hate this being terrified of the, of the freeze. Well, Blizzard's only got three uses left. Oh, that's a crit. That, that crit's no, pretty no, big. No freeze. If... No freeze. Okay, they go for rest. Do you switch into Iron Hands again? Yeah, get some free free sleep turns. Yeah, you don't wake up. Uh, going back into Starmie. Where's that special drop? <laughs> you didn't get it. That's a crit. Come on. Any special drop would be... Oh. Uh, other than that. A special drop on the, onto this Starmie would, would be huge. I think Roscado's trying to force a switch in. Or no, they can just keep attacking at this point. Oh, that's a crit. <laughs> and a special drop. Uh, uh if you go uh, into yeah, Iron I... Hands now, you can. Wait, do they go into Iron Hands? Are they based? Okay, they are. Yeah. Or why am I acting like that's like a smart play? That's like the most logical thing, right? <laughs> I I'm I'm just surprised Cyber didn't even just stay in with the Jinx because Snorlax just took a bunch of chip for no reason. Yeah, I mean that is I mean, also a... that is five turns. The Iron Hands have been asleep. Yeah, Iron Hands does like to stay asleep. It, yeah, yeah. I don't think I've seen it. He's he's exhausted from all the battles he's been having to play in. <laughs> I, I've seen Iron Hands either wake up turn one or turn eight, and there's been no in between. Yeah. <laughs> How many psychics oh, are left? On. Only six. Six versus... Oh, six on each side. Um... Well, that's fine, because is... if this Jinx gets stalled out of all its power points, what's it going to do against Iron Hands, who is probably going to wake up very soon? We don't even know its fourth move, though. Like, he hasn't even showed off Lovely Kiss. Oh, that's right. He, <laughs> he could be using Explosion Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> this is... I think with Rest, he might actually outstall the Charmy. Just, the, the Charmy. Oh. Um, you better crit. Okay, two more psychics for each of them. Okay, he does have lovely kiss. lovely kiss. There we go. But I still feel like I feel very confident with Roscado having this. Or is the Zama Santa paralyzed? It is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, it could maybe sell with the Iron Hands. 
Do you think the last Mon, what do you think it's going to be? Either Nagana Dell or Alakazam? What do you oh, think? Well, oh, there, there we, we go. <laughs> That's... Yeah, Roscado has this. Yep. The cereal eater. Mm. <laughs> Wait, I, I get it now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> mm. Wait, does nice that mean... theme team. Al what does Alakazam do when the rest of the Pokemon are KO'd? He eats them. He fucking eats them. Oh, so it's because he cooks cyber mm. forfeited and i think that was probably the best best choice yeah well hmm i cyber said he was the one that was saving these replays right uh, yes all right dg that was tough that, I was, that was tough forgot i could comment <laughs> me too i, I was okay. Too invested in, in when yeah. the freeze was going to go down. Yeah. Should I lie to them and say I forgot I can comment during the video too? Oh, what? Well, well, we've just been sat here silently the whole yeah. time. We've been so like enamored by their match that we forgot that we can use our whips to make noise happen. You know, people, they often say that we are quick-witted and, and charming, but... We have our flaws, and, and we've been silent these whole two matches. People say we're quick-witted and charming? You know, I'm not going to say who, because maybe they'll stop saying it. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, that's actually a good idea. Yep. Also, I'm going to put you way. in charge of letting me know when the link is posted for the next wife battle. I can, I can do that, because it is up now. Oh, let's go. Thank you for helping me. I'm I'm nothing if not responsible. Yeah, nice. you're you'll forever be known as my first mod to actually do stuff. <laughs> Maybe it's the British, the uh, the British genes doing that. Mm. We it's, it's, speaking of British genes, we've got an interesting lead. Yeah, speaking of British genes, we got Gengar smile. <laughs> Impeccable. Oh uh, wait, oh Riscardo getting a a, fr a sweep early is huge. Yeah, and I think it's the serial team again. Cyber's mm -hmm. got a different team now. Yeah. It seems... Okay, that is... Crits. Or, I don't even want to say good, because without a crit, you don't Oko. This Gengar can't explode here if he really wanted to. Yeah, it, it seems like Gengar lead into... into this team specifically. Getting that hypnosis, it, that was really good. Oh, that is like the worst thing he could have... Or never mind, he got a crit. He's just no good. Crit. <laughs> you can finish up the Gengar. I think you have to do that instead of killing because Gengar going for explosion is way too risky. Mm -hmm. Even though like he's down a Pokemon, I'm kind of leaning towards Riscato right now. Yeah, I mean, it's all up to, again, if Eggy even wakes up. Mm-hmm. Hmm. It'll be assuming this thing has a bug bite. It'll be hard for Eggy to get those turns in. Oh, I like to see the golem, <laughs> uh, golem G golem. <laughs> and that thing is faster than Armado instead of having a speed tie. Yeah, I mean that's why I used uh, versus my rocks. That's why I used uh, Golem over Rhydon in one of my matches. Being able to outspeed Armado and Galisopod, pretty big. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, I don't think Golem will see enough usage to actually move to OU, though. No, no, no. Definitely not. There's... It'll be just like Gen 1, where it's like, you'd rather use Rhydon. It's not necessarily a bad thing to use Golem. Yeah. Because you do have the explosion, which is huge. I really Speaking hope CyberCalc that. Yeah. <laughs> What are the uh, what are the odds he didn't? <laughs> um, maybe because even if I I did calc that, I would still be kind of terrified with a critical blizzard hitting Correct. my executor. <laughs> there it is. There's the dead executor. Uh, I'm the Stami is paralyzed, which is actually pretty important. I mean, like, isn't the Starks also paralyzed? Why? I feel like they could just set up amnesia. Yeah, I was thinking the Snorlax play would be the best. This... That is not that enough to risky. kill. No, and that's... 
essentially a useless Nagana Dell at this point. Yeah, you can. You're gonna have to send that out against something else that's paralyzed later. Oh, what? Uh -oh. Wait, how does Cyber's team break Chansey? Depends if the chance he's got. I was gonna say it depends if it's got Ice Beam. Um, but it has Psychic. I think Snorlax. That's huge. Holy shit! Okay, that's not Amnesia <laughs> Snorlax. Ooh. Big man himself. Yeah, cornflakes. Oh, reckon... you're talking, oh, you're talking about the snow axe. Sorry. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> we have two big men right now. I was uh... I was gonna say before that hyper beam. I was gonna say if he was running the uh, self destruct body slam hyper beam self destruct. Okay, that that actually was probably the best move. You just gave your Zam a free switch in. Armado is gonna die. So it's just depending on. Oh, and I forgot. It's not the. It's not the other game. This guy's so healthy. <laughs> okay, that's a significantly bigger deal. Even even switching into Golem at this point is pretty risky. I think. I don't. Or actually, I say get the chip. I say psychic again. Even it might kill. Yeah, it probably will. Okay, the last Pokemon, Zam, which we already know from last game. That special drop is huge, but you're still gonna die. Are you just are you gonna try to go for explosion golem? golem? Or what's the last Pokemon? Yeah. Oh no. Uh what was the Zam at beforehand? What was the what? Uh Zam like his Zam was at nine percent? Yeah, the it was I could just have a look back. Whoa. If I can even read it. Hmm. Because I'm pretty sure like that I don't know if that psychic would have killed or not if Riscato hit first. This is such a close game. I think Cyber's gonna get this though. If he doesn't get parallel oh uh, no, because he's gonna be slower than the uh he's slower than the Armaldo now. Yeah, he's gonna have to switch into Golem. Golem might survive Earthquake. It probably will. And then it's two paralyzed Alakazams. Yeah, it this completely depends on whatever Cyber's last Pokemon is. Oh yeah, he, he's he's got his. <laughs> I didn't even see that. He's got one Mon left. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, nice Alakazam. I have a Swellbro in the back. Yeah, th this is where it's like he's been keeping Chansey or something in the back, and <sighs> that would secure the game. But good God, that would take a long time. What if it's like Bug Bite Yan Mega or something, and then he just. <laughs> uh, if it's Bug Alakazam. Bite Yan Mega, then it's, he still wins. He stayed in? I think. Oh, no. Oh, he has two explosion users. That explains it. Wow, he's at, he had four. <laughs> oh, he did have four. Okay, yeah. Uh, well, let's see the explosion. That probably yeah. That 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 goes the game. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. GGS. Yeah, GG. Wow, I... Okay, let's update the I bracket. Not... Yeah, let's do. Okay, we do have like our that. first finalist for winners bracket. That being Cyber DJ. See, guys, the generation comp, the generation uh, jumble council. We don't all suck ass. Some of us can win games. Yeah, you know, it, you'd think that we got through on uh, fraudulent terms and, uh, what what should I say, hacking, hacksing? Hacksing? <laughs> no, but we don't do that sort of stuff around here. Yeah, or and there's the man himself! I came back to witness this moment after my momentous W, boss man. Hmm. Alright, we were just talking <laughs> about how not all of the Generation Devil Council members suck ass at Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, that's reassuring. <laughs> <laughs> I like... Go. At least I like one of the, them is um, good. What do you call it? I like that you, you won with your boom team. Yes. You know, four explosions. And, the end. and this one is a little special because it wasn't just something I just made off and just pulled it out of my ass, hoping 
Boomspan can live on a little bit. I actually got a little help from a robot plush because when I was going to practice match with him a few times, I did a few practice teams. There was one Dodrio team that I used. Yes, I was considering running Dodrio. No, it didn't pan out, obviously. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure the other one was a Hypno team because you know how I was with Hypno at first. And the third one was this one, the Boom Spam team, a.k.a. the only one that matters. And I'm very glad about that because it turns out that, yes, I actually can use it. And I guys, yeah. just quickly before we make a comment on that, I got some very interesting news. You might be going into a Zakynthias versus Robot Plush match. Ooh, uh, is that really what's going on? I've just got a, a an update, and uh, yeah, I just double checked. I said, "You good to go now?" He says, "Yeah." Oh, so, oh are we going to immediately just reverse? I'm going to be co-hosting with Cyber. Oh, that's going to be awesome. That might actually be kind of insane. <laughs> oh, okay. So I guess this video is going to end on a cliffhanger. We can have we can have Cyber talk about his match after yours. Oh. Or you can go into that now and then be like, we'll see next time what happens with Zakynthius' match. And then the next video could be me versus Plush. Hmm. Mm. Maybe. So what do you guys think? Like, should I end it now? Or should we, like, ask Cyber some questions first? Actually, um, that depends on Zach and Theus's answer. I'll let him answer this one. Yeah, he's, he'll, be, he'll be the man of the hour like uh, when he has his battle, so it's up to you. Ooh. Well, I can just update Plush, say we'll get some questions in on how this match went. I will then leave, set things up with Plush, and I'll let you know when I'm ready. You guys can ramble for a little bit. Alright, so like I'll probably, like after like you leave, I'll talk with Cyber, but I'll also upload the video and make a thumbnail for it. I don't know when I'll upload the one for your guys's, but we'll worry about that later. But for you, the viewer, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed having a co-host, because I enjoyed it way more than just reacting to the replays. Yeah. yeah, thank you, Zach. That's quite alright. It was a pleasure, and I hope we get to do this again. Yeah. It is so hard with time zones. <laughs> yeah, like I talked about this with Plausible and Myrox, but I think just in general for round two of the tournament, I want to have just co like co-hosts for like everyone if able to, everyone that's participating in the tournament. Zashley, Lizard Jesus, freaking Myrox. Lizard Jesus <laughs> would be so fun because Lizard Jesus, because I know Robot was, he Robot received help from both me and Zach and Theus, so he's uh, our disciple. No, me too. Lizard like, uh, Jesus. Me nah, too. Like, I, Lizard I was, Jesus. Yeah, that I, one was I, all me. I helped him, and I feel proud of that. Yeah, so like with Robo, like he was also in the, the GC, the training room GC with me, Shelly, Fintan, and Gemstone. Oh. And all of us are in Loser's Bracket, so apparently we, we did jack shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're still here. They're yeah. Actually... Or, or not not Shelly. Shelly got eliminated from the tournament, but they're still here in spirit. Shelly is always going to be here in spirit because yeah. I feel like whatever happens, We'll be referencing them. Yeah, also I have some <laughs> of Shelly's uh, bones in my back pocket. Don't worry about it. Oh, I have some too. You've got some? <laughs> let's go. Oh, well, let's, go. <laughs> let's break his, like, what's it called again? Like, let's break his car, and make a wish. Yeah, but we can't Ooh. tell the viewers what the wish is going to be. Exactly. You're going to find that out next time. <laughs> but until <laughs> next time. Also, I won't say it unless you remind me. Yep. See you guys later. This is Groundback. And I look forward to hearing from you. God, these, I, I, I'm sorry, I make so many of these videos just go on and on.